we will go, hunting we will go. I own the mill, we go, hunting we will go. Well, there you have it. They didn't drop today. They uh, came, they stocked on Wednesday actually. So, all they had left was a hockey box, WNBA, and um, they had the Prism value packs, 15 card packs. I think it was 15 cards. And those were $15.95 for those uh, value packs. So, Really, I let that sit since I've already got some coming from Target.com. Thank God. I do believe I see a sign for the Cracker Barrel. Oh, let's see how this goes. Someone's having, no, it's okay, someone's having fun. <laughs> having fun? Yeah. yeah. Good times, good times for all. So that Cracker Barrel just had single packs of uh, Gypsy Queen, and those are the six card packs. Suddenly, we've seen those pop up at a ton of places, including uh, Target actually had those in uh, Maryland. And we've seen those in a lot of the Cracker Barrels as of late. So it's interesting to see what's getting rotated out. So we're going to make a stop next at the Barnes and Noble. Now I am not anticipating finding anything here because it's not a drop day or a restock day. But I thought let's just uh, check it out because you never know. And once in a while we've gotten lucky doing that. So let's go for it. Just some Well, as you saw, there was just a little hockey there, a little bit of Pokemon, kinds of magic. That's where it ended. So, no luck there today, and it's time to move on. And we have success. We have found it. found one area. There are those graded cards things are. All right, well, this location still had some products, nothing high-end wise, but they still had uh, Alan Gittner, they had uh, 
Prism Baseball in both the blaster boxes and the fat packs. I decided to grab a fat pack because I already have two mega boxes and a blaster on the way to me, so I don't need those. I got those in line. And the draft picks. This prism draft picks are going to be the death of somebody. I should have a lot of them. I've been stocking the hell out of those. And they had also some tops. Series 2 packs. So, it's kind of what we saw there. Now, I noticed that there's a 5 below here. I might take a quick run in there just for giggles. So let's see if there's anything in 5 below. Last week we did find some of the regular um, top series 2 packs in there. So, oh, I'm right. curious to see what might be good. You know, do you guys have any sports cards here? Yeah. No? Okay. Sometimes I find them at your places and sometimes no, so. Okay. Okay. I'll check around for you. All right, so five below, strikeout on that one. But you gotta try because you never know what you're gonna find in half these places. So, at least we gave it a shot. Well, I noticed a sign as I came down the road here. I'm in Washington, New Jersey. And look what's dead ahead, a target. So let's go scope it out. What the heck? See what's going on there, if anything. Doesn't look like a real thing, but hey. No try and no get. So scoping, we will not get. That finger in the way. That's always good. No surprises for us to get. Oh, look what they did have, however. That seems to be a thing lately. Well, we didn't see anything inside of uh, Target much, but we did notice a new sign that now it says the limit of sports cards is five sport card items. We no longer are seeing the sign that we've been accustomed to seeing the last few months where it says due to blah blah blah, you know, we're not selling sports cards in the stores. So, as you saw, we did see uh, the Gypsy Queen single pack uh, empty box. But we've been seeing those in the stores in the last week or so. Well, it looks like we're closing in on Buttsville, one mile away. Now, who names the town Buttsville? I'm just asking. Well, if you ever find yourself in Buttsville, New Jersey, you got journeys you can run to for a damn good hot dog. And I do mean damn good. This place is packed. Nice day out, water running by. Yep, can't beat it. So there you have it, Johnny's. Right here in Buttsville, New Jersey. Well, I was driving up the road here in New Jersey and I saw this. All-in-one collectible, sports cards, games, and more. So let's scope it out, see what's going on inside. If it Dollar cards. 
basketball, baseball, football, right. Marcus Price, there you go. Pull out a drawer, check this out. High number 63s. This whole box of this. Look at the corners on those. Well, that was an interesting store. It did have quite a bit of stuff in there, everything from comics to the magic to football. And uh, they had just gotten a large collection in, so I was going through some of the 63s. And I picked up the Bob Euchre kind of on the, on the prowl for that lately, so I figured, hey, it's in really good shape. Let's grab that and take it with us. So, let's move on and see what we find next out there on the highways and the byways. Well, that was quite an episode. We found some products out there in the wild, and we made it to Hot Dog Johnny's. Now you can say you've been to Buttsville, New Jersey. And then we wrapped it up in an LCS where we found some product and picked up the 1963 Bob Euchre. So, good times for all. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and we will see you back here on the next Card Hunting in the Wild. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Take care.